When you have committed adultery or you have consumed alcohol or you have gambled or you have, for example, uh, done something, say for example, you missed your prayer. You seek the forgiveness of Allah. Allah will forgive you always. He will always forgive you regarding those things that are sins between you and him. You have not involved the rights of a third party. The minute you've involved the rights of another human being, you're playing with dangerous territory because that human being needs to forgive you first before Allah forgives you. So those sins are even worse. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us forgiveness. If a person engaged in shirk, which is association of partnership with Allah, as bad as it is, if they were to turn to Allah before death and they were to read their shahada or they were to repent, they would be forgiven by Allah. That's in the Quran. Allah says that clearly that he will forgive all sins. Subhanallah. Unless a person dies in the condition of shirk, that is dangerous territory. But what else is dangerous territory? When you have wronged a fellow human being, they may never forgive you. Not everyone is forgiving. And sometimes we make life so difficult for others that we drive them to suicidal thoughts and we think we're going to get away with it. You think you're pious when you've driven someone to suicidal thoughts. Couldn't you empower them? Couldn't you speak to them, reassure them? Couldn't you give them words of guidance? Couldn't you let them know how merciful Allah is so that whatever they've done could be wiped out? Couldn't you give them a few words of comfort to tell them that whatever bad or whatever difficulty and hardship they're going through, Allah will make it easy for them. Good days are definitely going to come. Instead of that, we smash them onto the ground in a way that even when they were considering suicide, it became a louder thought in their minds and hearts. May Allah protect us. I would never like to be a person whom because of their speech or actions or deeds, another person felt they didn't want to live anymore. That's not good enough. Why would that? Why would a Muslim do that? Subhanallah, you believe in Allah. 